All right, guys. We're on. Come on, guys. Woo! There you go. You see it out there? Yeah, I see it. Sorry about leaving the bell on guys, but using a 10 foot rod, so he's coming on in. Doesn't feel like a stingray. If it is, it's a baby one. He's cruising on in. Look at that stingray, uh, Johnny? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it looks like it. Guys, oh, yeah. Right on, right on. Johnny, let's get down there. Yeah, you're sure. Take it out, Johnny. Oh, look at that, man. There it is, guys. It's a nice bat ray. Ah, that's a little size compared to uh, what is usually out here. Let me go ahead and uh, Let's see where, you, where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, there we Nice little circle hook. Just twisting on out. Using a combination, anchovy and and squid. One thing is about this, guys. You see this barbed one? Yeah. Here, hold on. Let's get his little tail. And you see that barb right there, guys? That's what you want to be careful for, but uh, first stingray. Not bad, right? Let's do a nice little release. There he goes. We've probably been in about 20 minutes, so we're gonna get a lot of action today. Let's go. All right, guys, so out here, um, off these rocks, simple, simple rig setup. So I just got a, a slider. I'm using like a spud web um, type of weight just so it could stick in there. Current's moving pretty fast, so I just would really like like it sticking in. Little bead, barrel swivel, 80 pound uh, floral leader, and with a size six uh, gamakatsu circle hook, and we're using just fresh, uh, not fresh, but frozen thought out uh, squid. Let's give it a cast. Oh. Nice cast, about 50. 40 yards out. I got, um, you can put your your rods, obviously between these crevices, but you're gonna mess up your rod. I take care of my stuff, but it's up to you guys. So I'm using a sand spike and that's it. Now we're fishing. All right, what's up guys? So we got something a little organized here. We got my angle live bait tank, but we're not using it for live bait. We got our pieces of uh, squid and anchovies. And what we got going on, we're just putting up on uh, circle hooks here, magic string, and I uh, got my boy Mike wrapping up his bait right now. So that's that's all we're doing. Simple Carolina rig. San Francisco is beautiful this morning. It's Saturday morning with my good friends, man. And I haven't had a relaxed fishing trip like this in a long time. And this is typically a sit and bait weight type of technique. And uh, Hopefully we get a couple more throughout the day. And we got something pretty cool. We got the table lined up for a little bit later. Something pretty cool. It's gonna be a catch and cook, but not with what we're pulling in, with what's coming into this table. So we'll show you guys that later on. So my boy Rich, they didn't get it on the camera. Sorry about that guys. But it looks like we got a, I think this is a, what's it called? Oh my God, sand shark? No, something like that. But something like this guy is super strong already, just off the bat this small. Johnny, hold the camera, let me take him off. You got the pliers in? Yeah. Thank you. You gotta hold them nice and strong. They're strong, dude. Yeah, they're super strong. Got the uh, completely circle Tight hook. Ones. You wanna hold them? Little baby shark. Got our Richie. Let's check that out, guys. I forget what these call. I'll put them up on the screen right here, guys, for you 
But uh, here you go, man. Just hold them from the from oh, my guy, nice and strong with your with your fingers. Yeah, I got it. Here you go, Rich. Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 Ready? Yeah. And there he goes. Oh. Yeah. Tell me, my shit's looking. So I didn't get the hit guys but it absolutely exploded this setup and it took off Rich the little this is this is rich's rod right here so it's been the lucky it's been the lucky rod that's been getting hit um anyways we got mike on board let's see what's what's he what's gonna pull up Okay. <laughs> right? Get your fingers just watch out with the back. Here's Mikey's uh little bat ray, sing ray. That is. Beautiful little <laughs> put him up. Boom. Kicks Ow. off. All right, guys, so the fishing has been just a little bit slow for us. We're just going for stingrays, bat rays, same kind of concept. Sharks, Richie actually hooked up to a shark. Um, the tide did just change, but anyways, the boys are hungry and we got something special going on here, guys. If you guys do follow on the channel, we always love to do cooking, either if it's coming out of this water. My boy Rich just, just came back from Baja, California, Ensenada, Mexico, and where well, we have something very special, some very uh expensive so we got we got toro and we got regular bluefin tuna fillet so right behind me we got fresh ingredients all these ingredients right here guys let's move this fresh beer everything so rich what we got going on what are we going to be doing today this is for this guy we're doing oysters we're doing a poke bowl ceviche and we're doing some sashimi as well this is this is for the oysters though. Okay. Oysters. So the oysters we're gonna do a little bit, what, garlic and do butter? minced garlic, a little bit of parsley on the top, and just salt, pepper, and lemon. butter. And butter. And we're gonna be using that little Weber grill right out there, right, uh, Danny, for the, yeah, for the oysters. For the oysters. So you guys are riding along, and uh, we'll see how everything turns out. So we got Danny. Danny's gonna take care of the the oysters here for us. So Danny, what, when you make oysters, because Danny's really, specializes in making these things he makes them i heard i haven't had it from him but i heard he makes them really good so what do you wait for here obviously these so are, are pretty complete, much what complete i try shot. to do here i try to give it a slow cook let them pop open a little bit not fully cook after they pop open just a bit i start prepping them with my ingredients which is garlic uh cheese butter and a little bit of cilantro to give it a good taste and after that they're pretty much ready something like rockefeller but it has a different flavor gotcha man can't wait to try them out <laughs> All right, we got the oysters ready. We got the cheese, butter, garlic, cilantro, and the finishing touch. We put a little bit of lime, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and tapatio to end it with a good flavor. Mm -hmm. Put the limes on here real fast. <laughs> All right. And that's it, huh? A little touch of salt. A little salt. This guy needs to know who the real chef is. A little bit of pepper. Hey. And then we give it to Tapatio. And that's it? And that's it. Enjoy. Enjoy it. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it, man. Let's do it. We got Richie. He was uh behind the Behind behind the scenes of cooking right now, this you notice he has his gloves on, <laughs> but this one can't hard. Yeah, Rich. Oh, this one's good. Dude. Okay, here we go. It looks like we might have to because we have two rods over there. Oh, we don't have actually anything over here. But anyways, Rich has been here the whole time. It's pretty crazy how off the bank here, you know, this specific area. What's really crazy, like you know, this has been a hot hole. Um, we've been over here. I only caught one on that side. 
We might end up moving next to him, but uh, he's been having the hot rod. What do you think, Richie? It's coming to me. We got a stingray right down there, guys. We got another one. Oh, it's big. Yeah, that's probably the biggest one of the day. Probably, I think. Might come down here. Oh, you got a little crab right there. Oh, there's another one. Oh, they're, they're all over the place. Let's check it out. They have to be like right here. Let's get a. There it is, guys. Ripped it out. He's got a little combination anchovy and. Uh, there we go. That's it. Boy Richie's been on, on the hot rod, but we're not after harvesting any fish today. We're just after the nice hookup. San Francisco's looking beautiful. It's feeling nice now. Sun's out, fog went away, so. We're about to do the cookout. Tell me what, uh, like what? All right guys, so we had had a good time fishing out here. So we got Danny on the oysters, like I said earlier. So check this out. We're gonna have Johnny uh, test us out here for us guys. So one thing is we didn't want, like today we're just gonna do fishing. We're gonna do a lot of like, um, catching stingray sharks like we did. We thought we were gonna do a little bit more, but hey, it's okay. I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier. Rich was about a week ago in Mexico and he caught a, a tuna, atun, and we're making sashimi plate and oyster. So we're gonna try it out. So Exotic islands. Yeah, know? right? I you mean, know. check it out. We got, we got the beautiful backdrop behind us. Here we go. Damn, the flavor. Just hit your, it's like a bomb in there, man. Perfect. It's good, it's good. All right, I'm gonna try it next. So what I wanna do, he melted everything. He already shucked the, the oyster, so I'm just gonna take the fork. Oh, it comes right out. Mm. Really good, oh my God. That is bomb, bro. Thank you. Really good. Hey, that's cilantro, right? All of those flavors that we put, like the garlic, butter, salt, pepper, might go over here a little bit. Everything goes with each other. The cheese, especially that he melted it, super good. I love it. So we're gonna try. Did you see me? Actually, Johnny, you want you? I want you to try that first. Really? Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. All right. Here we go, man. For sure, you gotta get some jalapenos in there. That in some of the soy sauce. Ready to go. You could pile it on first. Just go ahead and just take a little flavor of everything, you know? That what do you think? Just... Like butter? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're talking about like fresh tuna, guys. Like super, super fresh tuna rich, right? I mean, when did you, ca when did you catch this? Last week. Like last week. Wednesday. Wednesday. Pulled it in the boat. <laughs> He filleted it, cleaned it out, so. You want to try with the ceviche? Here, though. go ahead and get it. So. Ceviche may need a little bit of salt. I'm actually not gonna even grab a fork. I'm gonna grab something by itself. Just one on one. Let's see here. Uh, what am I missing? Some onion. There we go. I think I got the full thing, yeah? A little bit of pepper, actually. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> full culmination. Thank you, my mouth water. Oh my god. It's good. It's good. You got no words. That's my favorite thing to say. <laughs> yeah, right? Sure. Just Seriously. No words. No words, guys. It's a mouth. That tuna? I don't think I've ever had tuna that fresh. No, I don't think I have. So. But uh, he made a ceviche too. I don't know. If, oh my god, we forgot. Did we forget chips? We forgot the chips. Try it with the fork, dude. It's alright. Try it with the fork. Alright, I'm going to try with the fork. So, I'm gonna go ahead and dive in. Same thing, I'm gonna grab everything. Is this mango or pineapple? Mango. Oh my God. <laughs> I laugh because the flavor is unfreaking believable. Like seriously, I don't know if I've ever had 
at a restaurant, at a store. This is crazy. Rich. Good? I got 100 out of 10. Flavor's good. We're having a good time. I wish we could hook up a little bit more, guys, but I think that's about it. If I end up hooking up more, if not, I hope you guys appreciate this. I hope you guys enjoy this uh, this episode. But I'll see you guys in the next one, and I have something super coming up in the future for you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. There, guys.